Welcome to ShamLS. In this video, we will be looking at the solutions to the Australian B-Breast Competition 2023 Junior Division Round 2. From 2024, the Australian Mathematics Trust is delivering the Beavers Challenge in Australia, and the AMT will provide the Beavers Challenge free of charge for Australian schools in 2024. You can find more information on my blog, sharemylesson.com.au and make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Let's proceed to the solutions. The arrows show how to jump. Because there is only one type of forward movement and one type of reverse movement, the question will only have one solution. If the girl jumped forward and left some empty tiles behind, she would not be able to return to them. Let's try out the solutions. As you can see, the first one won't work, the second one won't work, and also the third one won't work. However, the last solution does work. Let's match the commands to their folders. We can label the command lines to each file as you can see in the diagram. There's only one solution that works. This correctly matches the description of the command lines. In order for Delia to pay 21 beaver coins, she has to give a 27 beaver coin and a 3 beaver coin to the clerk and receive 9 beaver coin as change. This means that she pays a total of 21 beaver coins. As you can see, we can write down the possible numbers that can be made from the same coloured candles. The maximum difference between these numbers is 5, so the maximum weight is 5 years. First, we can mark the original photo from 1 to 8. Then, we can number each tree in each of the solutions with these numbers. The only number sequence that matches this is the solution in the bottom left. The first solution is not correct, as we do not need to know the place date of birth. The second solution is also not correct, as we do not need to know the registration fee in this scenario. The last solution is not correct, as we do not need to know the place age category for this scenario. The third solution is correct, because it tells us all the information we need to know without any unnecessary things. Let's complete the word for diagram.
As you can see, bucket A will have 43 litres of water at the end. This means that the answer is 43 litres. To create a solution, we first have to identify that one detector ML's can be placed in each row and in each column. This is because they send out both horizontal, vertical and diagonal beams. With this information, we can place our detectors as follows in the two diagrams. There can be more than two solutions, but two is enough in this scenario. First, we need to be able to retrieve one and two apples. So the first box has to have one apple and the second box has to have two apples. We can also combine two and one together to get three apples. However, we cannot make four apples. So the third box has to have four apples. We can also make five apples by retrieving four apples and one apples. And we can make six apples by retrieving four apples and two apples. We can also make seven apples by retrieving four apples, two apples, and one apple. However, we cannot make eight apples. So the fourth box must have eight apples. With eight apples in the fourth box, we can retrieve nine apples, 10 apples, 11 apples, all the way up to 15 apples. However, we cannot retrieve 16 apples. So the fifth box must have 16 apples. With this, we can retrieve all the apples all the way up to 31 apples. This combination matches the answer B. On Tuesday, Gio only talks to his classmate I, and this classmate used the nickname on Monday. C talks to four classmates, and three of them use the nickname on Monday. Three on four classmates is more than one on two, so C also uses the nickname on Tuesday. On Wednesday, B starts using the nickname. On Thursday, E starts using the nickname. And on Friday, F and H also start using the nickname. This means that the answer is Friday. Originally, Allison has six tires, six bags of iron, and two wheels. There are many possibilities Alison can take to make the most profit. Take the possibility if Alison chooses to build a tricycle first. To build a wheel, you will need a tire and a bag of iron. To build a bicycle, you will need two tires and three bags of iron. To make a barrel, you will need a tire and a bag of wood. And to make a tricycle, you will need three tires and four bags of iron. When she makes a tricycle, she will have three ties, two bags of iron, and two wheels remaining. From her remaining materials, she can choose to make two barrels, which will take two ties and two bags of wood. She will have a tire and two bags of iron remaining. With this, she can make another wheel. After building the wheel, Allison will have one bag of iron remaining. The tricycle will sell for 
the barrel will sell for ten dollars and the wheel will sell for one dollar. Altogether, Allison makes a profit of twenty-six dollars. However, what if Allison does not choose to build a tricycle and make use of this one iron bag remaining? If she chooses to make two bicycles, this will cost her four tyres and six bags of iron. Then she can make two barrels, which will cost her two tyres and two bags of wood. After this, Allison will have no remaining materials. She can sell the bicycles for $20 and she can sell the barrels for $10. Altogether, she makes a profit of $30. Consider the first possibility. This will go wrong after nut, bolt and bolt since there will be no nut in the bucket when the second bolt is encountered. Look at the second possibility. This will also go wrong after nut, nut, bolt, nut, nut, bolt, 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 bolt since there will be no nut in the bucket when the fifth bolt is encountered. Keep in mind, there are only four nuts before this bolt. The third possibility will work however. As you can see, each bolt will match with each nut accordingly. The fourth possibility will also go wrong after the entire sequence is processed, as there will be two nuts in the bucket since there are six nuts and four bolts. This means that the answer is the third possibility. As you can see, we can label cabbage bill as G, straw beton as R, and carrot fed as B. If X is equal to one, both the houses will be assigned to B. If X is equal to 2, both the houses will be assigned to B again. If X is equal to 3, and house number 1 will be assigned to G. The second house will be assigned to B. If X is equal to 4, both houses will be assigned to B. If X is equal to 5, and the house mark number 1, will be assigned to B. The house mark number 2 will be assigned to R. This is what we are looking for, which means that the answer is X is equal to 5. To get the first letter, W, the arrow must be rotated 7 points clockwise and the second letter must be chosen, which means that the first two digits are 7 and 2. To get the A, the arrow must be rotated once and the first letter must be chosen, which gives the second number 11. To get T, from this point on the arrow must be rotated 6 times and the second left letter must be chosen to give T, which gives the number 62. To get E, the arrow must be rotated 3 times from this point and the second left letter must be chosen to give E. To get R, the arrow must be rotated 4 times and the third letter must be chosen to give R. This means that the answer is the last option. First of all, we have to change 
yellow to blue. We do this to get rid of the yellow color and make a single blue part. Next, we have to change the blue to red to make one single red part. Finally, we change the red to green. This changed the whole thing to green in just three moves. We have now completed the solutions to the year 7 and 8, 2023 round 2 Breeders Challenge. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and share this video with anyone else you would think would benefit from it.